Um, but um, no, I mean, I, I honestly think that, and I'd hate to keep going back to the D.C. Virginia thing, but Please growing do. up in Virginia and Washington, D.C., and playing music there when I was a kid, I don't really know if anybody had, like, career aspiration. I mean, you know, when you're 14 or 15 years old playing, like, hardcore punk rock in this little music scene, and there's, like, little clubs, and it's the same hundred people at every show, and you're going to see your favorite bands, and your friends are in your favorite bands. Yeah. It was just so far outside of, like trying to become a fucking world-renowned rock legend yeah. it was just like oh you know i just want to fucking play music i knew i wasn't gonna go to college i just was a i was a terrible student i i didn't finish high school i worked at a furniture warehouse and worked other jobs and stuff like that and i just sort of thought you know i just want to play music um uh, and work and have an apartment and do that it's a very juvenile way to look at life but at the time it was like i didn't think that i could become <clears throat> so so that's really where i fell in love with playing music and i still feel that way so any of the like crazy reward that mm -hmm. i've had over the last 25 years i mean it's strange to me like it is it is weird to me that you know i joined a band uh, and then the band became fucking gigantic and it just didn't compute. It didn't make sense because I didn't necessarily feel like I was doing anything differently than I'd ever done. Uh, I just happened to be in a band with the greatest fucking songwriter ever. Okay, first of all,